Carol, um, I'm just doing a quick video because someone from the Facebook group asked me to make a video which in which I, I'm going to explain how I do more complex uh, intents with entities that are built in within the intent in order to make complex intent like this one. And this one is the WeBotBot. Bot. I just make some simple uh, entities to make you an example. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through all the entities like this. Each of the color are different entities that are, uh, you know, that the bot knows about with synonyms and everything. So let's go straight to the entities and then we're going to jump back, jump back to the intent after that. So of course, uh, the bot, this is an order bot. So if a customer would order a bot, it could be different for a restaurant, but for the sake of this example, this is the we bot bot. So people should be asking to get a bot from the WeBot bot, right? So which type of bot? Well, is it a beauty product, a customer service, a FAQ assistant, a game companion, human resources questionnaire, you get it there, restaurant. Let's jump into another one. So of course people will speak in different ways. So you need to have, you know, a maximum number of uh, synonym for the same thing that you're describing. So for an AI app, uh, people can call it a chatbot or a bot or an AI app or a machine learning app or an agent because that's the name of the uh, chatbot. The equivalent of the chatbot for Dialogflow is an agent. So people could say artificial intelligent agent or Google Assistant. And then how complex the bot's gonna be? Is it gonna be a basic bot, a simple one, a standard or a premium? So people with, might say that they want a price estimate. So here I got a quote, which is the equivalent of a price estimate, which a bunch of other, um, synonyms i can export that if that's any use to you uh, in a zip file um, the features the integration because as opposed to other type of uh, chatbot platform uh, dialogflow has so much integration i mean there's facebook messenger google assistant kick line telegram slack twilio twilio sms uh, you can do it on a website, on Viber, or Cortana, or Alexa, even on Twitter. Um, so let's jump to the order intent, which I prepared for you guys. So most of, most of the time, people won't ask something really precisely. They won't ask, they won't ask a question like, I want a bot which is simple, and is for Facebook Messenger, which is for a restaurant, they're going to just say, I want a bot. Like, if they go to a restaurant, they're just going to say, I want to eat. Well, what do you want to eat? I want to eat, well, let's say I want to eat chicken. Well, what type of chicken do you want to eat? Do you want chicken wings or do you want to have like chicken with rice or anything? So I'm just going to say, I want a bot. And just for the sake of this example, uh, we're not going to do it. I'm going to, I'm not going to show you in uh, Facebook messenger, how it looked like, uh, it's more simple to just stay in dialogue flow, but the interaction would be the same in, in Facebook messenger. It's just in the response block that it would change default to Facebook messenger. Uh, so here's the answer from the bot. What type of bot integration, Facebook messenger, Google assistant, Slack. So. Before I answer this question, let's just go to the action and parameters block. Here's the name of your action, agent order. And here's are a bunch of what we would call attributes uh, that we're collecting. 
So these one are required. So it means that the bot need to have answer for each of those questions and to collect each of those uh, values in order to finish the loop. The other one, they're not necessary, but the bot knows how to deal with it, with the, the verb tense and which type, is it a chatbot or an AI app that the client or the user has referred to. And here are the prompt that we've seen, like the first one here, I'm just gonna show you for this one, but not for the, the other one, because it's gonna be re repetitive. So here's the answer from the bot. You could add variation and another one and a third one, just for the sake of being more human, because human being don't answer the same way all the way. So let's jump in and do, um, I'm gonna say a Google Assistant. So then the agent asked me the level, I'm going to say basic, the level of complexity of your AI app project. So we provide some guidance with basic, advanced, premium, custom, build, etc. So then my name. So this is a simple, um, you can use here i'm going to show you guys it's a required one but we're using the system dot any system dot any is collecting anything uh whether it's uh words or figures or anything it's pretty useful to collect in this case the name for um if you want to uh to get the name of the user and then after that you ask for the email and then you can continue and reach back to this customer after that. So I'm just going to answer Carl. My email address, I'm going to say aaa.gmail.com. Oh, for a reason, didn't get it. So here you see, great Carl, we will send you a personalized quotation for a basic Google Assistant at your email address within the next 40, uh, 24 pardon, business hour. Thank you for your interest in making business with WeBots. So as I mentioned here, it's the default block response, but I could have, you know, do the same with the Facebook Messenger integration here and I would just add a response select text response and copy paste um, the answer from here and of course you need to uh, be able to do the integration and the webhook uh, with the um, Facebook Messenger as I showed in my previous video uh, if you just check my YouTube channel and you can find easily uh, how to uh, integrate Dialogflow straight to Facebook Messenger. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, or um, join us on our Facebook community, which is called Dialogflow Community. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you soon, to interact with you soon. You can contact me on Facebook or you can write me some comments on my YouTube channel. I'll be glad to answer all of your comments. So have a nice evening. Have a nice day. I love you guys. I even love my haters because they make me feel so special. So have a great time. And I hope you're going to have a great time with Dialogflow as I have um, right now. And I haven't got beaten. I just shave myself and I get cut. So don't worry for me. I'm fine. So... Talk to you soon and bye-bye.